is not a typical dad. Will you please welcome Rick Nielsen and his son, Miles. is Cheap Tricks producer, and probably richer than all of us put together, mm. because he's also the producer of other hot bands like Ted Nugent and Twisted Sister, and this group called Motley Crue. Let's take a look at Motley Crue for a second. Order. Uh, she was not in that video. Will you please, I hope, will you please welcome heavy metal producer Tom Werman and his daughter, Julia. the children? Uh, four. Four? Four, no, uh, four total. Four total. And how many with your mom? This is Miles. He's 15. I have an older boy, Aaron, who's 17. Uh, son, Dax, who's 10. And a uh, daughter, Scarlett, who's three. All with different wives or same wife? Same one. That's great. That's oh, my God. Great. Well, no. She, but she is my first wife, though. And right at this point, your only wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is very unusual for rock and roll, it's isn't it? A, a rock and roll, uh, any any business. Yeah, but especially the... Yeah, it's a little tough. Yeah. She's, uh, she's tougher than I am, I guess. I think, wouldn't you have to be? To be I married guess. to someone that's on the road and married all that. To me? Who would marry yeah, me? That, that, My that, God. That. Now, what about you? Also first marriage? And first, how many children? 23 years married. Three children. Julie's 18. Nina's 15. And Daniel is 9. Now, we were just talking. Did you watch Ozzy back, we, from He's backstage? Great. He's great. He was talking four months, six months Los Angeles away from the family. What's the longest you've ever been away from your family? 18 months. 18 months. Mm -hmm. Did they come with you, or that was? They sh uh, they come occasionally on the road, but it's it's like it's it's like your work. But like he said, uh, I'm just listening to the show, and it's like before you know it, this this guy that was this yeah. big is like, you know, this big, yeah. <laughs> and it's like whoa, uh, I do have a family besides the four guys in the band, you know. What did you miss most about your dad when he wasn't home? Uh, probably going out. Because he's fun, you know, my mom yeah. sits at home and takes care of my little sister. So he goes out, watches bands with me, and goes out to eat. What about the, <laughs> things like, we had uh, Linda Ellaby on yesterday, and she was talking about, you know, mothers that do the same thing. She's a, you know, a broadcast, a news broadcaster. And she said, Is it, what can you do? You're with the President of the United States on tour, and your child's in a school play. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you say? Excuse me? You know, you can't. Very, very tough. Have you been on the road, or are you able to I, stay home when you I, produce? Yeah, well, I used to record when Julia was young. I, I recorded only outside of New York City. So you could say I was on the road because I commuted to my house on weekends. Right. Um, Same but, thing. But it wasn't, it was hurting uh, myself and, and the kids. So we moved to L.A. Uh, 13 years ago so I could work at home and at least sleep at home. Yeah. Although last week I came to New York uh, for a press party uh, overnight, and neither Julia nor Nina knew that I was that I had done that until two or three days later. And I said, "Oh, I forgot to tell you, because <laughs> because I get home at eleven or twelve, they're already asleep." Right. Do you still live at home? How old are you? Yeah, I'm eighteen. Now, you see the pitfalls. What's going on in rock and roll with the young girls? I mean, that's your video you just showed us, Motley Crue. Well, it's their video. Their vi I mean, but your group. Right. It's, it's, video, my, yeah. it's the music that I helped make, yeah. yeah. Were you worried that all this would influence your daughter? Not a bit. Not a bit. Because, uh, I mean, th my daughter's not a stripper. Uh, she, you know, she's, she's a yeah. fine girl. In fact, my daughter is, uh, has turned out to be the opposite of what people would expect, um, you know, somebody right. in my family to be. She's, a, she's, she was a, she's been a drug counselor, a, a suicide prevention counselor. She's a, 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 a peer educator for, for safe sex. She's the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council, uh, president of her school, you name it. What about you, Miles? D do you, have you got almost like the other way, too, because of your dad, or are you... Uh, I'm in a band. Yeah. I want to go the way he did. Yeah. 
but not into drugs, you know, and all that. Did but you see it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm saying the rock yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah, but well, are there so much? What did you tell your kid? There's so many drugs around. Who are we kidding? I mean, yeah, this is a business it's around, where it's around and around. This business is around, around, around in every business, and you know, like, what can you say except, hey, what happened? I don't swear in my house, but I know all the words. You don't swear at home. I don't swear at home, and. Uh, and I have nothing to say to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 bleep, bleep. Uh, so, Cheer. But, yes. But uh, see, I have a 17 year old. He's uh, ranked in the top 10 in, for high school kids in golf. He's got short hair. Uh, he gets great grades. Uh, he wears polo shirts. Where the hell did I go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. What about you now? Everybody I know in our household, uh, all the people in my field would come to visit. You must have had some very strange guests. Would you remember some of them that came? Um, we had him. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> the strangest one. No, um, yeah, we've had some strange guests, but exciting guests, I mean. Who are you the most impressed by? Um, as in guests in our house, yeah. Billy Idol. Billy Idol came and right he came. Right after Rick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, present company excluded. We know, yeah. He came um, actually for my sister's 14th swim birthday party last year. And, uh, and he came He came with, for a swim <laughs> birthday came, party. He came with an, a, 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 a band member. That, uh, of a band that my dad was doing came yeah. as a friend and and they just and I, I came downstairs you know just was gonna hang out with the kids for a while before I went out came downstairs and Billy Idol's having a drink in my kitchen and I kind of said double take you know yeah. what is this guy doing in my kitchen and that was really exciting because I'm a big fan who else someone said Michael Jackson no he never came over never I came. met him at the studio in he the may have he just didn't notice you there was Diana <laughs> Ross <laughs> you know <that's> <laughs> in the sixth grade I was 12 years old and uh, my dad was doing Twisted Sister I went to the to the studio to see him after school and um my, he had asked my mom to bring us down, but you know, don't say that Michael Jackson's here. It was a surprise, and the door opened and Michael Jackson was there, and I was, wow, you know. Touching the floor, he was hovering off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but he always is. Uh, let me ask you, what's the best part? Well, he hasn't been touching the floor. Come on, lighten the loafers. Let me ask you, what's the best part? Because we hear drugs, we hear all. That. What's the best part about having your dad in rock and roll? Probably the traveling, getting to meet people. Yeah. You know, you get you get treated differently, which is good sometimes and not good sometimes. Yeah. Crummy sometimes, but sometimes good crummy. most of the time. Good most of the time. You talked about people being over. I mean, come, these guys go to school and they wake up or late at night, and you know, some one night Aerosmith would be there, Motley Crue would be there, Hall and Oates would be there, Kiss would be there, Poison would be there, Nelson. You know. Did, did you ever say to them? I charge uh, them rent. You know. Oh, yeah. Come over. You know. But did you ever say to your kids, "Come down. I want you to meet. It's a wonderful group. You should. You should at least meet them." <laughs> My kids gonna. Hmm. Hi. Yeah. Go back upstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, you know, I've done this, I, I was in music before my kids were born, so, you know, it's like, they grew up with this. This so. whole, it's a, well, it's a great and I'm not deal. a huge star, anyhow. Oh, yeah, I'm right, just a simple man. Not recognized. A with a With a staple in your ear. Just tell me about that, and then we have to go to commercial. Uh, why the see. staple in your ear? My wife did this to me 20 years ago to, oh, well, I don't smoke. I don't know why I do. It's a staple, see? Yes, out. Oh, yes. in out. And it just stays there? It has. For 20 years? 20 years. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, each to his own. A staple. Lighten the loafers, I don't Light, know. Lighten the loafers. Oh, grow up. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. And we'll be joined by Chris Franz of the Talking Heads and his son, Robin. So stay with us. of Cheap Trick and his son Miles and heavy metal producer Tom Worman and his daughter Julia and our next rock and roll dad was one of the founders of the Talking Heads. Let's take a look at this. the group the Tom Tom Club and now in addition to all of his musical activities he is making his kids breakfast in the morning and he gets them off to school. Will you please welcome and a warm welcome to Chris Franz and his son Robin.
because you, you you mentioned uh, earlier, Rick, that um, life on the road was on the road before you had the children. Did you change your life once you started having children? Oh boy, yes. <laughs> we uh, we used to. I guess we used to like go to bed around seven in the morning and get up around four in the afternoon, something like that. Now we uh, get up around six thirty. In take, the morning. Take a nap around four in the afternoon. <laughs> and how many children? Uh, two. My other little boy is here somewhere. There he is. He oh. Gets... He... Want to bring him down too? Sure. sure. I mean, if he come on down. He, can, he, can he wants. He said yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's your baby brother. Yeah, yeah, my little brother. Your little brother. That's. Do you get teased about your dad being in rock and roll? We were asking Ozzy Osbourne's children. They said yeah. they got a lot of teasing because their dad. Okay. Here we go. Good. Come and join your dad, and your brother. No. Nice to meet um, you. I don't get really teased. That's why I get kind of respected. Really. <laughs> Whose music do you like besides your dad's? Who do you listen to? Wow. I listen to Mot Motley Crue. Um, I listen to the Ramones. I listen to Poison and some other guys. We, Skid Row. Is there anybody that you not let them listen to again that we found? Uh, not really with music. There's yeah. there's movies we don't like them to see. Like, uh, well, I won't name them, but there's like scary movies that are too scary, right? But aren't some rock and roll <laughs> concerts very frightening? No. No. Well, I maybe, heard... Maybe, uh, maybe, you know, the ones where people get killed. Yeah. <laughs> I heard... I, it's not I just, heard, you know, sweetness and oh, light. I heard in Salt... in a uh, newspaper in Salt Lake City, Utah, um, at an ACDC concert, a kid got trampled to death. Yeah. And... Well, that's pretty serious, yeah. don't you think, Robin? Also, at a Motley Crue concert, kids, um, gave a guy the finger and got stabbed for it. <laughs> in Vegas, too. <laughs> yes. What about groupies? Because <laughs> they, they're always groupies we, around. We, uh, we you... always got lots of groupies, <laughs> but but they were the kind of girls that wanted to talk or show us their poetry. You know, they weren't really... Uh, you don't recognize me, do you? The, the <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were... <laughs> Actually, you know, we did meet on Roses an airplane red, once. And blue. We met on an airplane once. Uh, we were on tour. We had the I whole band. That. Do you remember? Yes. You yes. were very nice. You gave us your autograph. Yeah, that yeah. Nice. I, I should have gotten yours. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you do when you met? Do, do groupies want to know that here you are with two adorable children you know, and a, um, a wife? Does I it turn them off? Do they get crazy? They're, they're afraid of my wife. They don't get near me at all. I, my wife is a powerful woman, and she has a heavy vibe. And now, that's they don't a, get... the second one that said, I want to get, well, let's go to commercial. Then I want to talk about rock and roll moms, because that's got to be a very special kind of woman to put up with a lot of this insanity. Don't you think? Um, yeah. <laughs> We'll be right back, and we're going to be joined by Jimmy Greenspoon of Three Dog Night. behind the scenes in Hollywood. Then we're going to have Dave Barry, William Shatner, hot new comedy group, Kids of the Hall, uh, Danny Glover, Lisa Lisa, Jeffrey Osborne, and a lot more. So please be with us. Have a good weekend also. The talking head with his son's Robin, Rick Nielsen of Cheap Trick and his son Miles, and heavy metal producer Tom Werman with.